Here we are at Fat Cat Motor Park, and today we've been with K-Tech. Um, they specialize in fine tuning suspension, servicing suspension. Um, they, they do sell a lot of product globally and uh, a lot of product to UK dealers and uh, suspension gurus. Yeah, so it's a really good opportunity to try um, the products that they're, they're, that they're selling. <laughs> K-Tech's background originally was always off-road and then as years went on it went into being road racing really took off but now we're, we're able to focus on back on, on the off-road side of things and it's exciting times for us again. The main thing that we've been focusing on today is for the WP, the standard standard units because what a lot of people have had, the, had to do or what they felt like they've had to do is go and buy aftermarket units for them so they've had to go and get cone valve tracks and it, for the normal man it's just too expensive it's not cost effective so what we've done is we've developed products to utilize the, the standard hardware so we've done a, a spring cartridge conversion and then a piston kit for the other side on the damping and then same again for the rear piston modification and bladder conversion on them so the guys can have a, a full setup done to them which is perfectly capable as you as you've seen the guys go around today at performing at any level really from a hobby rider to myself right up to some of the, the top British lads that we've had here today. What I like to do when, a, when someone will call up, I'll ask them what, what is the biggest issue. You know, we don't, we're not a company that just wants to sell product out there just to take money off people. We want people to enjoy their riding and that's, that's the, the big side of it. So if they don't like the feel of the air cartridge, then that can just easily be removed and just have a spring cartridge fit in there. And then if you want to go another step and you want to you know, do more with the damping, we can remove the standard parts and fit our ORVS kit in there as well so the it's you can take the bike as far as you want to generally what well, you get a nicer feel from a spring fork because the because it airs the, the ramp up on it's so aggressive that when the guys are charging hard and you're coming deep into turns you just get that real ramp up of the air in there whereas the spring just gives a much linear feel right the way through the stroke and also with ours because we're having preload adjustment you can do adjustments a lot easier on the fly for what tracks you're going to and also just for pure ease for guys as well there's less seals to go wrong you don't have to worry about taking a pump with you what air pressures do i run whereas you guys know that's the spring rate i need and I'm, I'm good to go it's just a fit and forget job really so yeah the damping side what we found with the standard stuff is that there's just no real adjustment range there and a little feel from it and with the setup that they've, they've done there with the standard stuff so what we've incorporated into ours to give the guys more adjustment range and then also most importantly is on all those real hard horrible braking bumps and stutter bumps just to give a push of feel over those and that's the biggest comment we've had today from guys is the feel from the front has been so plush the physical system itself still remains the same but what we've done is we've changed all the pistons the piston holders needles so we've really looked at flows controlling that flow and then the adjustment range at certain flows as well so it's just a case of getting all of it working together better really so when the guys don't have to run their adjusters all the way in to get the damping now it's just a case of a couple of clicks and you're where you want to be with it so the rear of the bike the the biggest thing that or the thing that people notice the most is the bladder conversion on it so the standard one is a, a separation piston reservoir so you'll have a piston that moves up and down in a cylinder so small movements you're going to get friction from that so our bladder conversion, as the name suggests, has a bladder in there, so on those small movements, you're just compressing the bladder. So there's basically zero friction from it at all. So it just smooths the bike out, you know, and you know, makes it a much, much nicer ride again on all these horrible acceleration bumps where you don't get that judder from the rear of the bike. It just smooths all of those out. And then the more internal modifications where we've put a, a different piston in there. So again, we've removed the standard WP piston and fitted our own one in there. Again, it just gives a different feel the way that the flow of the oil works and just gives, a, again, a much nicer ride for the guys. Today I rode a Husqvarna FC and I also rode a KTM 125. And straight away, as soon as I got, got onto the bike, you know, and I rode around the track, um, obviously at Fat Cat's motor park here, which is which was it was was a little was quite choppy. It was left a little bit rough, um, quite fast today. Um, I felt really comfortable on the bikes, and it, it was it was interesting just to get a to get a, a general feel. So first of all, when I got onto the FC, you know, the Husqvarna FC, I felt oh, this might be a little bit too soft. And to be honest, it probably was a little bit too soft because it, it was one of the um, 
employees' machines, and it was it was set a little bit. You know, the, the spring rate and so on was probably a little bit soft for me. And when I went out and rode the bike, I thought, actually, this is the action is really good, and the the feel of the bike, the general feel of the bike, was really good. It was quite surprising as well for me because when I was riding around, I thought. Um, with the way that the, the, the track was developing, I thought, oh, I don't really want to over jump anything. I was, you know, because the because of the hole, I didn't really want to be landing in the hole, and that's only just because um, I'm a little bit nervous still from from my wrist, uh, where I broke my wrist like last year and had some major surgery on it. I didn't really want it, it getting a um, a savage impact, and um, a couple of times I did actually overcook a couple of the landings and land in that hole and. And the reason why I bring this up is, is because my first impression was, was that suspension would have collapsed or been too soft. And actually, it really surprised how it dealt with that. And, and it, I didn't get the shock that come through my wrist and my, my body or my back. And it just, it just absorbed, it absorbed the impact um, and, and, and moved on. And for me, that was, you know, it was kind of an eye opener because um, just because of, you know, the, the soft feeling that the, the, that the bike had. and and how I could ride over the little braking bumps and, and, and not feel the bumps. Uh, for me, I, you know, I, sometimes I do like to feel the bumps from time to time, um, just, just because it, it gives you that, it, you know, it gives you that warning, gives you that inkling of when to, you know, when to tip the bike in and, uh, and when to crack open the throttle. And, and yeah, it was, just a, it was just surprising because it was different because it was a smooth ride. As soon as I jumped onto the KTM 125, you know, I've got a KTM 125, I felt straight at home on the bike and, and, um, and the suspension, again, just really surprised me. So when you've got air front forks, you, you tend to find that, um, that, you know, there's a, there's a light feel, it's a little bit light, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more flickable, a little bit more movable. Um, with a spring or the conventional fork set up that uh, K-Tech offer, um, it wasn't to say that they feel heavy, because they certainly don't feel heavy at all. And to be honest, you're really nitpicking when you're feeling the difference between the two. Um, but what I did feel today on, on that bike in particular was, was that the bike was just, um, as soon as I got onto the bike, I felt instantly comfortable and could really push and uh, attack. The motor was, was super strong and real impressive, to be honest, as well. And uh, it did encourage you just to, to, to rev the bike right on coming into the turn and, and really get a good flow on. It's one thing to have a, a good engine um, on a 125, but if you haven't got the suspension which can cope with the engine, and when I say that, I mean as in, if they're not reacting um, together, um, which may not make sense, but bear with me. So when you're coming into a turn and and the bike's on its over rev and you're really pushing it coming in. You know, the, the bike then is at a point where it can be a little bit nervous. Um, and suspension, the suspension and the power has got to work together. So when you run out, when you run out of the power, you normally run out of power before you run out of revs. Um, and then when you come in, it make, can make the bike a little bit nervous. But I didn't get that feeling at all when I was riding the 125. So one, the, the engine, that tells me that it was absolute powerhouse and it was just, yeah, just could, could deliver on all fronts and and secondly was was that the um the suspension you know just allowed you just to really track into the turn um and really commit and uh, push onto the bumps and you know and it's the same thing as like you when you want to stay on the pegs it allowed me to do that if i wanted to sweep round through the long sweepers on the pegs it allowed me to do that it, at no point did i feel nervous or, or unsettled so that was probably like one of the most impressive things from today so, so the bikes that I rode today, you know, how they were modi modified. So basically the, the, the forks, you know, the KTM and Husqvarna, you know, they come with air forks. For me personally, I do like the air forks because I, you know, I have my forks serviced regularly and keep everything uh, tip top. But I can, I can understand that, you know, that some people uh, can feel a little bit frustrated uh, on why they'd want to go back to the conventional spring. So, you know, KTEC, they offer that. Um, they offer that, it's, I think it's for the front end, that's 400 pounds. And something that I really, really felt could be a benefit to most riders, whether they're pro, uh, amateur, you know, or, or just novice, just starting because of, obviously, like we were saying, you know, the, the, um, the stresses and strains of uh, carrying a pump around you and checking and making sure that you've got the correct pressure in your front forks isn't for everybody. On, on the rear shock, we had a 
new piston which has been developed by KTEC in-house, also a bladder system, so that, yeah, they're running the, the bladder system. Pre I've tested the bladder system uh, previously and I really do rate the bladder system. I like the action on that, I like how it, it floats up on the, top, on the top part of the stroke and really, really delivers a good action. Um, also as well, they had a linkage, a uh, different linkage. So uh, the, link, the linkage is, I think the linkage is roughly about 400 pound or just under. Um, but for me personally, if I was to advise anybody and, and they were looking to improve their suspension, then I'd certainly uh, look into the products that KTEC are making at the moment. They certainly do work on OEM suspension. So it's just a case of, you know, having your OEM suspension upgraded. So, so if you're looking for the full spec, you know, and you want the bike all singing or dancing, then you're looking about a, a thousand pound roughly, um, and that's that's including labour. So, I think personally myself, um, if you're looking for a suspension upgrade, that's a cheap suspension upgrade, um, and I rate it and highly recommend it. Uh, after riding the track today, um, you know, first impression was brilliant. The bike was balanced, um, and the action was good. So. You know, there's not a lot more that you can ask from for, for a suspension. You, you need to feel comfortable and confident on the bike, and, and that's what happened. So, for me, thumbs up.